What's up, y'all? This is Brian Mazik, a.k.a. Franchise Play, and I got an NBA All-Star video. Basically, what we're going to do is talk about, you know, the NBA All-Star votes, the, the second um, reading of the, you know, where the votes stand right now. Uh, it's been pretty much publicized. I think it came out about three or four days ago. NBA.com had it. A bunch of other publications republished it. I don't know. How do you feel? How do y'all feel about the votes? Do you think that fans should vote for the starters? Do you think that fans should vote the whole team in? Do you think that it should be all based on player votes or or writers or whatever? What do you think? I mean, I would love, you know, as a writer for Bleach Report, I would love to be to have a vote, you know, on, you know, who, you know, just be able to pick my own all-star team instead of just going to the website pretty much like everybody else, which is cool still, too. It's a nice reflection of you know what everybody wants to see but you get a lot of garbage basically Kobe Bryant has played about 11 and a half seconds this season but he is like first in the vote I mean and not everybody okay the mom was awesome but we talking about this year this year he ain't shot a skill in the ocean but he's on his way to the all-star game somehow that don't seem right and he's probably going to be back in time for that you know he's tweeting out more locked in than ever um, biting out the inside of my jawline to get to the back to the court, all kinds of stuff. He's ready, right? So I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. That's just my take on that. But anyway, as we move on to the actual votes, LeBron James is leading all vote getters with 475, 449 million, 346, 467 votes. Not really, but it's really 854,000 votes, which is a huge lead over everybody else. He's a leading vote getter. Um, he he getting votes from people in Bucharest. This everybody's voting for LeBron, and it's real funny too because he's a leading vote getter. But just like uh, 18 months ago, everybody hated him. I just show you how people are. It's funny. The second uh, leading vote getter in overall is Kevin Durant, which is actually I made it sound like it was a huge gap, but it's really not. LeBron only has like a 4,000 vote lead over uh, Kevin Durant, which is really not that. Um, much when you really kind of consider it so those are the two highest vote getters the way also let me explain I think some people don't necessarily understand this the way it works with the all-star voting is each conference has its separated um, front court back court so the starters are three front court players regardless of their position so you could have literally three small forward start and you get two back court players regardless of the position so you could have a you know two point guards two shooting guards or whatever just the highest vote getters so you got that in both conferences. Now, with that said, the front court players that are leading in votes right now in the Eastern Conference is LeBron James, uh, Paul George, 712,000 votes, which is far behind LeBron, and then Carmelo is even further behind. He's at 580,000. So as you can see, the East are, is probably going to have three small forwards start in the All-Star game. It doesn't matter. Nobody's playing any defense anyway, but just something funny. The backcourt, here's another one of those things where you wonder what's happening with the voting, with the players, you know, with fans voting it in. Dwayne Wade is the leading vote getter of backcourt players. Okay. Dwayne Wade has had a decent season, but I don't think that, I don't know, maybe he is. The East is so bad. Me and four of my friends could probably win five games in the East right now. So I don't know. Maybe it is. I ain't sure. But Dwayne Wade is the leading vote getter in the backcourt. Kyrie Irving is second. Can't argue with that. A distant third, which is interesting, is Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose is at home playing NBA 2K right now. He is, and but he's third in the vote getting. Luckily, he's so far behind Kyrie Irving that it wouldn't matter. He's not gonna, he's not gonna get there. But that just shows you who is still voting for Derrick Rose, man. Y'all think he gonna show up? You can think he gonna show up. Why would you do that? You need to get your computer taken because it doesn't make any sense. You out here wasting time and stuff. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, going into the Western Conference, Kevin Durant, of course, is leading the front court. Now, they have a more natural front court heading in to start in the All-Star game. But way behind him is Dwight Howard with 408,000 votes, which shows me something else. People claim to hate Dwight Howard, but yet 408,000 people like him. And all of them folk ain't in Houston, so don't even try that. Blake Griffin, there's some people in Houston who hate him, I think. Blake Griffin is, the, I don't hate him, just to clarify, I don't hate him. I don't hate him, so don't say that. Blake Griffin is third with 399,000 votes. So they have a legitimate small forward, power forward, and center 
scoring in the star in the West. In the backcourt, you got Kobe, like I said, which is an absolute catastrophe. 723,000 votes for Kobe. Are you really serious? Uh, Chris Paul is second, 533,000 votes. So that's the backcourt. Again, natural, two guard, point guard. So right behind Chris Paul, though, well, not right behind, relatively close, but not that close, is Stephen Curry with 488,000. So those are the people who are probably going to start unless something ridiculously crazy happens. The gaps are huge between these, you know, it's, it's pretty big. I guess the closest thing is Kevin Love is only like 21,000 and some change votes behind uh, Blake Griffin, but that's a lot, so probably not going to catch him either. So that's probably going to be the starters. So now that we get that established, let me tell you who I think should be the reserves. Obviously, Kevin Love. Kevin Love is tearing up the world right now. I mean, he, he, he's tearing up the world. The world is torn up, and it's Kevin Love's fault. 26 and a half points a game, 13.7 rebounds. Now, we know he can't jump over a credit card, so he only got he only averages 0.3 block shots. But, come on, man, 26 and a half and 13.7? That's like, that's like your my player stats after you, you know, spent $50 to get a 20,000 VC pack. That's ridiculous. I mean, he's killing it. There's no way in the world he's not going to the All-Star game. Also, DeAndre Jordan should be an All-Star. Now, that might sound funny to people, but if you pay attention to what's happening with DeAndre Jordan, first of all, he's leading the league in field goal percentage. He's only averaging nine points, but he's pulling down 13.4 blocks and blocking 2.3 shots a game. That is an All-Star. I mean, it, it is. I mean, Especially nowadays when we don't have a ton of dominant centers. I mean, come on. He's, he should be there. James Harden should definitely be there. Stephen Curry should be there. Two Portland Trailblazers should be all-stars. LaMarcus Aldridge and Damian Leonard, Lillard. I, I can never say that man's name right the first time. I feel like I need to go to speech class or something. Damian Lillard. I don't even know. That's the... Why did... He can't help his last name, but Lillard. I think I would tell people to start calling me D. Lil or something. I don't know. Do people call him that? I don't know. Anyway, Damian Lillard uh, should be an all-star. I've actually read some things recently of talking about him actually as an MVP. That is interesting. I can't say it's preposterous. He's shown himself to be a big-time clutch player. But Lillard is only shooting like 42% from the field. I don't know. I'd have to look up and see what Derrick Rose shot from the field when he won an MVP. But I want to say it was more than 42%. And he didn't have nearly the help on his team that year in terms of talent. Now, you know, Tom Thibodeau was able to get more out of less in terms of talent. But there was no LaMarcus Aldridge. There was no Nicholas Batum. I mean, people can say, I love the Bulls. I've been watching the Bulls longer than a lot of folk been alive, okay? But, hey, from a talent standpoint, Portland, this Portland team is talent, more talented than, than those Bulls teams were. I mean, Bull, the Bulls have pieces, but they have one big-time legitimate star, and that's Rose. Everybody else is really a role player, and that's just that's what's real. You know, so I don't know whether or not Lillard is really putting on that type of a year, but he's certainly having a great year. The last all-star spot in the West, if it was me, is Boogie. DeMarcus Cousins, you might not like him. I don't really care for what he's been doing with the not shaking people's hands. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? If you get traded, everybody on the next team going to hate you or something. What is wrong with you, man? You know, this is a job, dude. You don't have to hate the person that you... That's like somebody working for Burger King and they drive past McDonald's and be like, I hate y'all cashiers. I ain't shaking y'all hand for nothing. Come on, man. Y'all, it's a job, man. You work for the Kings. You know, they're not like your family or nothing, you know. The man's the game over, man. You can shake his hand. You ain't, he ain't asked you to give him a hug or kiss him or nothing. Don't act silly. Anyway, let's move to the East. The reserves are a little bit more difficult to pick out in the East because the East sucks. Just really. Just 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 what it is. But I would say John Wall is definitely a guy that should be there. Now this next guy I think is probably gonna surprise some people, but if you look at what he's been doing, 
you can't really argue it. Aaron Aflalo is averaging almost 22 points a game. He's shooting 48% from the field and knocking down almost 44% of his threes. Now, Orlando is not a good team, but nobody in the East is a good team. So how you can't even really discriminate because of that. He's an all-star. And as crazy as it might seem, he's not the only member of the Orlando Magic that deserves to be an all-star. Nikola Vucevic is averaging a double-double. Did you real? If you're not in Orlando, did you realize that Nikola Vucevic is averaging a double-double? 13 and a half points, 11 boards, and a block. I mean, in the East, that's a surefire all-star. It really is. Also, DeMar DeRozan, 20 points a game. He's an all-star. One of my favorite players, a uh, former subject of a franchise play series, Andre Drummond, is going to be a beast. I told you he was going to be a beast last year. You thought I was lying. Look at him. He's a beast. Look at what he's doing. He's averaging a double-double, too. He is right up there with um, he's, he's right up there with DeAndre Jordan in terms of field goal percentage. He's averaging 12.5 points a game, pulling down 12.5 rebounds, blocking almost two shots a game. Shooting 61% from the field, and he's only 20. Y'all better recognize. Y'all better recognize. Drummond, is the, he's, the, he's the real deal. Rounding out the All-Star team for me is actually 276. Evan Turner is actually on the trading block. Look at this dunk by LeBron. I had to show y'all that. Is that not sick? That is pretty nasty. But yeah, Evan Turner is supposedly on the trading block. But he's an All-Star. In the East this year, 18 points a game, doing his thing. His teammate and the front runner for the rookie of the year. My, I don't know what that was with the little weird bounce, but this still looks good. Michael Carter Williams. Look, right about now, Michael Carter Williams is running away with the rookie of the year. He, he's running away with it. I mean, he, he, he gone. He gone. I mean, he's... Look at, I mean, just look at what he's doing. He first of all, he's leading the league in steals. So he started off, led the, you know, began the season with that nine steal game. People thought that was like a freak of nature, or whatever. No, not really. Leading the league, averaging three steals a game. But it's, that's not it though. Five and a half rebounds, seven and a half assists, and just under 18 points a game. And he ain't even got a jump shot yet. When this dude gets a jump shot, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. So right about now, for me, in the East, he's, he's the, the seventh all-star in terms of the reserves. So I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think about it. Tell me if you think I'm crazy. I'm sure y'all normally do that. That's what, you know, that's just, that's what we do. We share. We share. So share your comments. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, subscribe, follow. Peace.